Hello, and welcome to For Further Review. Today we have with us Becky Sally, who works in the Finance Department, and we have Michelle Hummel, who works in the Instruction Department. Tonight at the board meeting, you may have heard that we were talking about one of the consent items being the approval of the title application. And so we want to talk a little bit about what title means. So, Becky, could you please tell us what do we mean by title? Title is a funding source. It's, uh, we get money from the federal government. We get several different things. Title I is improving academic performance for disadvantaged children. We get a Title IIA, which is um, teacher and principal training. 2D is enhancing um, technology for our district. And uh, English language acquisition is our Title III. OK. And could you please tell us, um, do all the schools have access to the title money, or how do schools qualify for title? Not all are. We have eight schools that qualify for Title I money. If they are 40% or above in free and reduced meals, they qualify for Title I money. Okay. All right. Thank you. And could you please tell us, Michelle, some specific ways that title money is used in Murfreesboro City Schools? We've heard kind of, we've heard homeless, we've heard uh, teacher development, professional development. We've heard for children programs. Um, we've heard some different things that Becky just mentioned, but specific ways that title funding is used. We use title funds for a wide variety of, of reasons throughout the course of the year. Uh, purposefully, we, we use our Title II funds for professional development for our teachers. Uh, that's providing mentors providing activities for our teachers to really get in and, and understand the content and really know how to best meet the needs of our students. Uh, we use Title I funds for salaries for a lot of our positions that help support our students on, on a daily basis. Uh, we also use our funds to enhance the programs that we already have in place uh, with our reading program, with literacy, with math and science instruction, we use, we use those funds to really help enhance those programs. Uh, we also look at parental involvement, uh, seeing what our parents need, what our community needs to really help our students succeed the best. Uh, of course, we look at technology with our Title II D funds. So we're looking at um, enhancing what we already have and, and just adding on to it. Okay. One of the other things that we heard tonight, we heard about Race to the Top, and of course that's been in the news. We know that it is one, uh, Tennessee is one of two states who has qualified first for Race to the Top funds. And we, we hear a lot about a lot of money coming down the pike. Could you talk a little bit about Race to the Top? How much funding will Murfreesboro City get? Uh, what are some of the stipulations, the kind of rules that we'll need to follow? Uh, the state of Tennessee is actually very lucky in the fact that we're one of two states across the nation that has been selected for Race to the Top funds. Uh, Murfreesboro City Schools in particular will be receiving about $1.2 million over the course of four years. That's about $320,000 each year. Um, there are stipulations, there are rules that go along with Race to the Top funds. So uh, we, we do have to have a plan of action and, and have plans for what we're going to use our money for. Some of those rules um, really relate to improving teacher and administrator performance and effectiveness. We want to make sure that we've got the best people working with our students because that's what they deserve. They deserve the best. And it's our responsibility as administrators to make sure that we're doing that. So some of our Race to the Top funds will be going to help with professional development to make sure that our teachers have everything they need to meet the needs of our students. Uh, we'll also be looking at um, providing support just for our teachers and principals. In addition to professional development, just having people who are there to support when questions arise and in those day-to-day -day things, being able to help answer questions. Is there a timeline for the Race to the Top funds? When could we expect to see those funds actually in, in the Murfreesboro City Schools? We have already submitted our, what we call the scope of work, our application to the state. We're hopeful to get approval by the end of this month, by the end of June, and receive our first installment of funds at the beginning of July. Good. Becky, I know it's the end of the year, and you're in finance. Could you talk to us about what it looks like in the finance department? What are you doing in finance? Because your, your job is federal programs, mm -hmm. right? That's, yes. Could you, could you talk about some of the things that you're doing right now? For federal programs? Mm -hmm. We are wrapping up the year. Um, anything that needs to be paid is, is being paid now. 
Um, and that way we can see what we've got left over. Our federal funds actually go on a 15 month time frame. So we've got some funds we can pay out until September 30th. So right now we're looking at what we've got left, anything that needs to roll over, anything we need to talk with the state about, uh, getting our last bits of money from them, uh, doing reimbursements from them, um, and just finishing up, up the year so we can see what we need to do to go forward for the new year. And what does it look like, Michelle, in the instruction department right now? We have a lot of things going on where I feel like we're kind of in the circus, the jugglers in the circus. We've got so many things in the air and so many projects that we're working on and that our teachers are working on to finish up. Um, of course, our number one priority is always the students. So in the instruction department, really what we're working on is figuring out what's worked this year, figuring out what we need to change for next year, and taking a look. This summer we'll be really looking at uh, introducing our new teachers to the district, uh, creating a a generation of leaders in Murfreesboro City Schools so that we can not only grow our legacy but continue it for years to come. Uh, we've got a lot of great things going on in instruction and we're very excited for it. Well, I want to thank you two ladies for your service to Murfreesboro City Schools and particularly to the children. And I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you for your continuing support of the school district and thank you for knowing that children come first.